Hey guys, Hirun here. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'd like to talk about Sound Iron's Iron Pack 4. There are 12 Iron Packs in total. And um, if you are not familiar with them, the Iron Packs are small and cheap libraries, as you can see here, 499 for one Iron Pack. So small and cheap libraries, they contain about 12 patches each. And uh, what they do is they take a certain instrument, in this case uh, a boys choir, and um, they manipulate the original sounds a little bit. And by doing that, they create pads and synths and ambiences. Um, and that's what they put into these iron packs. They're really fun to play with. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be creative every now and then. You know, it's a, a bit challenging. And um, I really enjoyed making this video. So what I've done here is um, I created a, a small track using nothing but uh, Iron Pack 4. So no other sounds from any other libraries. And I also did not use, as you can see, I did not use any effects. I didn't do any mixing or, uh, well, mixing, yes, but <laughs> I didn't do any uh, mastering. So I'm going to play you the, the, the track that I made and then we'll... Uh, We'll take a look at uh, the elements that I've used. Okay, that was the track. Uh, of course, it's a very simple track. I didn't spend a lot of time on it. I, I did spend. I actually spent more time on, you know, uh, seeing how much I could still tweak the sounds and how, how much I could still manipulate things and change things. Um, I think with this library, creativity is more the message that you want to put out. So yeah, composition is not that special here. Okay. Um, Let's start, uh, by the way, don't pay any attention to the names that I've given here to my tracks. Those are not necessarily the names of the of the patches. It's just for me to, to, to recognize them easier to, to remember what I've done there. Um, since I've been modifying the sounds a lot, I for every track here, I, I did this. I have on top, you will always see the sound as I have used it or the, the settings, let's say, as I've used them in my track. And at the bottom, you see the patch as it comes straight out of the box. Um, the first one that I wanted to analyze a bit was the boy choir. So Sound Iron's Iron Pack 4 is based on their uh, boy choir, on actually on their Mercury library, which um, uh, which has been out for, for some time now. Uh, and what I was particularly cur curious about is whether this sound would be close to the actual boy choir you know uh, so normally if i understand correctly in, in every iron pack uh, they have at least one patch which is the the original instrument and then the rest are sounds created by manipulating that specific instrument so i wanted to see how close or how the boy choir would sound and i'll i'll start by playing the original first Yeah, if you go quite high, it sounds indeed like a boys choir. Now, I've manipulated that a little bit, and then it sounds like this. So 
so I've stretched the sound a little bit. Again, there's no reverb on it. I've only used the, um, the, 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 the different things that you have here. So yeah, I played with the attack a bit. I put the attack a bit down. And uh, let's, let's maybe talk about what, what all these uh, buttons do. So first of all, you have the attack that, of course, um, attack means whether this, it talks about the, the beginning of a sound. So um, if you turn the attack down, it, the sound starts immediately. If you turn the attack up, it comes up really slowly. Good. Uh, release does the opposite of the attack. It's it. This is um, manipulating or changing the end of a sound. So that means that uh, the sound will continue a bit longer after you let go of the key. Let's see. So stretch stretches out the sound a little bit. Punch gives it a bit more punchiness. Sparkle is is your brightness. Is the the um, yeah the you see it makes the sound more fresh. And then finally, soar is actually the amount of reverb. So here you have, um, let's see, 10 different reverbs in the drop down, And um, yeah, you can increase the amount of reverb used by uh, turning this knob up or down. And then finally, you've got here uh, a pad and a flip um, button. Flip changes the, or uh, flips the sound around. And actually, I've noticed that for some sounds, the flipped version sounds more like what, to me, like what the original would be like. Um, but okay. Let's take a look at, I'm going to put this one back. Let's take a look at the piano. Of course, there's no piano in there, but there was this sound called resonant, which I try to change a bit so that it would function as the piano in this uh, in this track so if we if we just uh, play from here so like i said i i kind of renamed them here a little bit you see uh, my point the original sound is like this And you can turn that into this. Okay, this is gonna sound for some time. <laughs> um, atmospheric drone, of course, lots of that's typical sound iron, and I love that about them. You know, you don't just buy a library that of, of a certain instrument, but they will also throw in some. You know patches and and uh, sorry some uh, some pads and some ambiences created with that instrument it's not just on the on their iron packs they do that everywhere um cricket oh i love this one um it's not just a simple sound you know you can hear that there's many different sounds and and uh, you know things coming in and you will see or hear why it is called cricket so i'll first play the original that ticking sound i like that ticking sound it's uh yeah it gives it a nice real atmosphere you know uh, i don't think i manipulated this sound too much just a little bit on the release and and stretch but yeah no no big changes here very nice atmospheric sound then we have iridium I think I didn't change this one at all. No. Nope. Good. Let's listen. Nice ambience also. Then here I called it a riser. Obviously it's not a 
maybe not even intended to be a riser, but when I played this sound, it, it kind of made me think of, yeah, of something riser-ish, you know, something that I could use as a riser. Um, let's play uh, the, the track. So the original sound there was this one. It goes really slowly. If you play a higher note, then yeah. So that's a really sl uh, slow riser there. But as you can see, I didn't even change the attack. So. Um, the higher you play, the, 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 the faster the attack is. Uh, sorry, the faster the, the riser is. So, um, let's see here. You get the idea. Then here I have the punch organ, I called it Vox Synth, that's um, this sound here. And originally that sounds like this. Makes me think of dance music. make any dance music now um, so that's that's this sound here oops moved it Also here I just I love it's not just one sound it's they've got little things little details coming in just like with the uh, the other drone that I used here with the, the crickets coming in here also they have um, some sound coming in and um, I really like that it, it, it gives it a lot more depth and it makes it uh, depth yeah as in deep <laughs> and uh, yeah I really like the, the, the feeling that, that comes with it haven't changed much here either so nothing at all actually good um yeah and then i did or i tried to do something else that was quite uh, i thought i would challenge the library a bit you know and i tried to create something percussive out of uh one of the patches i took the patch called grunge bird and originally that sounds like this <laughs> Nothing percussive whatsoever, but then if you hear what I made of it, I have to find the right note. I'm gonna play it in context. it had something um, how do you call that like 
something evil is coming, that kind of thing. Good, then we have Dark Arrival. Here, as you can see, um, I've used both actually. So I, I, I started by the first sound and then I put the second one in there thinking, okay, I'm going to show you how I manipulated it. But in the end, I ended up using both. Um, let's play it. Where is it? Yeah, okay. I'm just going to solo it. What I actually tried to do here is create a bit more um, low end in the in the track. So because I, if you look at the first tracks, apart from the intro, uh, it was uh, everything was more in the high area. So I needed some some something low end in here as well. So that's what I tried to do here. And here I did that same thing actually, if I'm not mistaken. What was I doing here? All right, so I took the, the patch Aqua Purgatory. Aqua Purgatory, yes, wow. Um, where am I? I forgot to upload the original. So the original sound is like this. Something very eerie, a uh, bit dissonant and eerie. And then I created this out of it. So another percussive element um, in context. You don't hear it very loud but um, it makes a difference you know all these little that's something typical about sound design and, and making a track like this is a in my opinion a good exercise uh, for for making um, for a good exercise for practicing sound design and uh, yeah it's 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 one of these examples here you know the, the, the this aqua drum um, you don't hear it very loudly, but if you take it away, or you don't hear it very well, but if you take it away, it makes a difference, you know, and that doesn't only count for this one here. Um, and that's what you have to do with, with no matter which composition you have, you know, the, uh, the details are important. They, they make that track deeper and bigger and more interesting and so on. Um, actually, I've used most of the tracks, um, but I'll quickly go through all of them again. Uh, and in this case, the original sounds. So, starting with the, the first one, Aqua Purgatory. Let's make sure I got them all, yeah. Crickets. I like the crickets.
that's the riser that I was it. Uh, I think yeah, I think that this this was the riser that I used. And the last one. All right, that's it. I am not going to make it too long. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it so so once again iron pack from sound iron iron pack 4 the other ones are also interesting I think I have about uh, six of them and uh, they're just fun to have fun to play with and at this price you know you shouldn't have any doubts so thank you very much for watching and uh, until the next time bye bye